Hi, uh, my name is Marlena Mills. I'm a former Attain housing client from back in 2017, 18, a while ago. How are you? Honestly, I, I'm doing great. Yeah. I uh, am a lot farther along than I was when we first met. Come a long way, man. I grew up in foster care my whole life and I went through tons of really screwed up things. My whole motivation as a kid was like, why me? But I'm gonna make sure never my kids, you know? They're never gonna go through what I've gone through. I wanted to have all my stuff together because my kids were gonna have the best life ever, right? What pushed me a lot um, to like graduate high school early and go to college early and do all this stuff was like I didn't want to be a statistic. Statistically, like less than 1% should have graduated high school. And statistically, I should have never gone to college. And statistically, I should have been pregnant at 16. And statistically, I should have ended up homeless after dropping out of high school and all these things. And so I tried so hard to not be a statistic. And my scholarship ran out and I didn't have support you. I'm about to cry. Okay. Anyway. Okay. It's okay. I ended up homeless. I got pregnant while being homeless. It was nowhere where I thought I would be when I was going to have a baby. When you work that hard to not be a statistic and you end up a statistic, there's a whole mental and emotional health piece of that. And although it was a low for me, I was like, not going to be that statistic. Not going to do it. And so I utilized Youth Care's Orion Center. And I had really, really great case managers. You know, I volunteered there, I got a job there, and then they led me to attain parenting in Phoenix. It's been a journey, man. Postpartum depression, anxiety, navigating the job field, housing, getting a car, things that, you know, people with resources can do kind of easily sometimes, or so it looks on the outside. For me, I had to work 10 times as hard to uh, get there. You know, and I think that every part of my journey with parenthood, with just life in general, was like the way it was supposed to go. I was able to advocate for, you know, different suggestions with the team for like how to make that transition easier for people. I've been able to advocate for homeless moms and homeless pregnant moms and all these things that if I had not had this journey, um, and even as a parent, advocating for mental health awareness and trying to make that an easier process for people in the future has been great. And I think Phoenix is better for it. Because of that, I feel like I'm way more of an emotionally aware parent. I really enjoy that we have gotten to know each other. And I, I really do appreciate your feedback. I think it's super helpful. We've made a bunch of changes. We've brought in-house mental health counseling that's available to everybody at their home. Um, in a large part because of kind of you sharing your experience with us. The follow-up case management is directly related to the feedback that you've given us. The bounty house for our event. No way. Oh my God, it was so great. Really? It was, it, I want to do that like at least twice yes. a year because nice. it really was it, a blind spot for me. Yeah, so there's a good timeline for how long we've known each other, oh, huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> he wasn't even around when we met each other. That's right. Yeah. That's right. Yes. Yeah. And so two and a half. Two and a half. What's the best thing about two and a half? Um, that I can have conversations with him now. <laughs> yeah. And he can yeah. tell me, Mommy, I'm so sad. Yeah. Or, um, Mommy, this is really exciting. I think when life is overwhelming, our kids kind of save us sometimes. It can go either way. Right? Oh yeah, it can either like send you over completely yeah. or... But even just that little bit of like, oh yes, there's this whole other amazing aspect of my life and even though this is overwhelming, like, this is what it's all about.